Welcome. In this tutorial, we're going to examine how to build a 3D scatter plot chart using Sandance and Power BI. Scatter plots are powerful diagrams that can display values for two variables of a data set using Cartesian coordinates. It is possible to add an additional variable through color coding points. Even more data can be added to a scatter plot with the addition of a third dimension, and that's what we're going to be doing today. Let's get started. The very first thing we need to do is to get an add-in called Sandance from the Power BI Marketplace. When Sandance is added, you'll see a Sandance visualizer in your visualizations toolbox. In this video, we've already imported the XY data that we're going to use. If you need to know how to do this, click the link below in the description. First, we'll need to add a Sandance visualizer to our report. Next, open the menu and click Edit. This steps you into the visualizer where you can control specific options such as the view. Sandance has several views available to use. Since there's no third dimension to the data, select the scatter plot view, then step out of the visualizer. Now we can add in a new table. Then we're going to load in a single entry into the first row. The field selection on the right side of the application will update with the new table. We can then rename it. We are going to repeat these steps and create another table. Next, we're going to cross-join two JCL tables into a new table. Clicking the New Table button, type in the name of the table, then equals cross-join, followed by the XY table name and the name of the first table that we created. This creates a new table and adds the data of the two tables we specified to our new table. As you can see, the third column is the zero value that we entered when we made the first new table. We're going to do this one more time with our second set of data. So a question you may have is why do we want to add all of these tables and then join them all together? Why not just add this information to one of our original tables? The reason is that we can preserve our original data sets. And that's really important because if we ever mess up, then we have our base data that we can go back to and replicate over and over and over. Once we have the two cross-join tables for the JCL and Frontier data, we can perform a union and add the data to a new table similarly to how we created our previous tables. As you can see, the new table includes all the data of the two tables. We can update our visualization with the new data by dragging the columns from the Combine table to the Values sections. By default, Power BI will summarize things such as cost or time, so we need to be sure to check the values are represented properly. With the third dimension added to the data, we can now update our visualization. This includes adjusting the color, the point size, and the sorting. Next, we can change the view from the scatter plot to a 3D scatter plot. Clicking the light bulb will show you the Insights panel. The Insights panel allows you to capture snapshots of the scatter plot, which allows users to quickly swap between different views when viewing the report. You can rotate the view by clicking the Nav button and selecting the 3D Rotate Radio button. And that's it. We have now completed our 3D scatter point chart. 